sinister aspects of magic towards the uh, darker aspects, primarily because it gives them either a vicarious thrill or an excuse for uh, their own sexual abnormalities. So there's nothing wrong with that, providing they do not harm another. We're not uh, evangelical in the sense that we try to push it on other people, but we are here as an access point so that people can reach out to us. We never refuse any inquiries at all. Three years on, Bray did refuse to be interviewed and threatened legal action when asked to explain his part in the current promotion of Satanism. We're being filmed from the inside, gentlemen. If you look through there, there's a Sanyo video camera being aimed at us. We wanted to question Bray about his publication, The Lamp of Thoth, which has carried want ads for dead bodies, articles advocating sacrificial murder, and is the platform for Michael Aquino's new British recruiting drive. Bray called the police to hold us at bay, while he and his staff, in Halloween disguise, made their escape. Mr. Bray, we'd like to talk to you about the uh, business you conduct and about the kinds of activities you promote. We'd like to talk to you about uh, articles promoting murder, witchcraft, advertisements calling for dead bodies. There are many people who get into this disgusting business who wouldn't do so without you, Mr. Bray. What a pathetic display. Bray makes light of the dangers of Satanism, but some would say it is dangerous in any circumstances. One ex-Satanist now lectures now, nationally on what she calls the doorway to danger. Maybe because you're curious. There may be some of you wondering what doorway to danger is all about. Um, Audrey Harper says she was once a prisoner of fear, well, a recruiting fine. agent for a coven which practiced child abuse and human real. sacrifice. I think it's a far bigger problem. I think we're only touching the uh, tip of it. Um, when you realize that, that all these places are self-governing, they can do what they like. Um, they attract homosexuals, they attract lesbians, they attract paedophiles because they can get away with it. Um, because the covens are so secret, even the satanic temples are secret, they can shift around. Um, if they think they've been rumbled, they just go to another building. So it is a big problem. But are we talking about just a few people in isolated parts of the country? No, we're not. We're talking, it is nationwide. In a year-long investigation, we've catalogued more than a score of recent serious cases with clear evidence of satanic ritual, abuse or crime. Some of the victims are being counselled by the Reverend Kevin Logan. In counselling, I have seen um, some terrible practices I've heard some really grueling, really nasty things that have happened to youngsters, to children at puberty, for instance. Uh, a girl having to have sex on the altar, the act of initiation into Satanism itself. Um, children having to uh, eat uh, feces and to drink blood. And stomach-churning, horrible things that uh, these Satanists get up to. And the effect that this has on these young lives. Earlier this year, Nottingham was the scene of one of the biggest and certainly one of the most gruesome child abuse cases in British history, involving 36 members of one family. We've got masses of these drawings. They As they worked on the case, social workers, led by Judith Dawson, came to believe there were satanic influences at work. The sort of things that the children were saying were beyond the sort of things that they'd heard before. They were different, they were more bizarre, and they were horrific. You ask the children... When the 23 child victims were made wards of court, the judge also accepted that the children, from babes in arms to ten, had suffered incest and sodomy in the course of satanic rituals. The victims' stories are confirmed by a family member who stumbled across a satanic ceremony by accident. I just walked in out of the blue. 
And I just sort of seen all these masks, all these wigs and candles lit and everything. There was a cross on the floor. There was a cross on the wall inside the corner. There was also a sheep there involved. The sheep had been cut and the children was made to drink sheep's blood. And it, it just turned my stomach over. In court, 10 people were sent to prison for a total of 150 years, but there was hardly any mention of Satanism. The police say they heard the stories but couldn't prove the satanic connection. I accept there is the satanic abuse of children is no doubt a reality. I haven't personally experienced it, but I accept it as a reality. Unfortunately, in this particular case of these particular children, although they were habitually and horrendously abused, that abuse was not controlled by any satanic cult. Until now, police and social workers in Nottingham have been at loggerheads. But today, after we'd passed on information from our files, a new team of police and social workers have begun to reinvestigate the satanic aspects of this distressing Midlands case. Situations. This is the, the self portrait, yes. self picture. In London, Natalie, now 15, endured 10 years of three satanic rituals every week. She's never spoken of it before. The star in the circle, what was on the floor, us kids used to stand in. And the lady who used to sort of like be in charge was at the front on the altar and the other people used to come in in black robes with hoods and used to come in, you know, chanting. And they went round the circle. And then uh, an animal would be killed. Natalie's so mother knew so nothing of her yeah. daughter's ordeal. Natalie was living with her grandmother at the time, and she was one of the abusers. Two years ago, Natalie broke free from the coven to be reunited with her horrified and now guilt-stricken mother. She was made pregnant, and the child was allowed um, to grow to a certain age, and then they aborted her baby, and on a sacrificial table they sacrificed the live born child not fully developed what people call a fetus but as a mother i call them a child from day one those appalling allegations of ritual murder are now being investigated by the police charges of child sex abuse against those involved have been suspended pending a full investigation into the child's satanic revelations they used to talk about Lucifer. They used to um, appear and be there. And they used to say it was for him. And I thought he was a normal person. You know, just, well, just another person, you know who was there. But now I know well, that he was a spirit or something. It was an evil spirit? Yeah. Well, they were all evil, weren't they? Here now, the legacy of the priesthood of Set. In the Diabolican of the Age of Satan, is recounted the primeval sundering of the cosmos from mind and it's precisely that evil spirit that Aquino and his wife honor and invoke as he ordains their first British high priest with one who is now to be ordained David Austin who's never been accused of any crime is an ex-member of the National Front and now a chef his high priest upon earth name you to our fellowship He's been a Satanist for 20 years and will now head the Temple of Set in Britain on behalf of the Aquinos. But in San Francisco, we discovered that Michael Aquino is not all he seems. For a start, he's a Lieutenant Colonel in the US Army and a specialist in psychological warfare, 
holding a top secret military security clearance. Army investigators here at the Presidio base in San Francisco have now formally accused him of ritually abusing young children from the base's daycare center. Indeed, one young girl says she was horribly abused by both Michael and Lilith Aquino at their nearby home. A US Army chaplain made an accusation of child molestation uh, centering on us at the Presidio of San Francisco at a time when my wife and I were living 3,000 miles away in Washington, DC. But we have a copy of the police report and the child appears to have identified, no. identified you. No. That's not true. But as the police report shows, and the Aquinos know full well, the victim of that attack did identify them both as her abusers, to her parents, to her therapist, and to the army. Some of that ritualistic abuse is alleged to have taken place at the Aquinos' home at 2430 Leavenworth Street, near the Presidio base. What's more, since that original disclosure, at least five other children have made identical allegations. All I can say is that uh, we have discussed this uh, regularly with the CID and we have not been told of a single other child that has made such an, a supposed identification at all. The, well, we've um, been told a couple of days ago that five more children who told have you? since disclosed. By whom? By this mother, that's who. Her children were amongst the five. They were taken to a daycare center where Michael Aquino and several other adults molested them. They did rituals. They wore robes. There was chanting. There were candles. He sodomized my children. He made them do all kinds of things, I guess. And they've also told the, the army investigators that they'd been in his house and they disclosed what the inside of his house looked like. Those who investigate satanic crime can face frightening consequences. Lawyer Cynthia Angel tried to subpoena Michael Aquino for a child custody case after two more children alleged he'd abused them. Within days, she was kidnapped. A stranger stepped into my car, pointed a gun at me, and told me to drive outside of town. I drove out of town, was shown a picture of a, a naked infant. I listened to a tape recording there were infants crying, children crying, and adults chanting. The insinuation certainly was that these children and these adults were involved in some sort of satanic ritual. I was told repeatedly during this drive that should I tell anyone what I see or tell anyone what I hear or keep investigating the case that I had been investigating, that I would be killed. What about the suggestion that this, uh, this lawyer was taken out into the desert at gunpoint? Well, that's, that's asinine nutshell. Uh, we don't take anybody anywhere at gunpoint. We don't threaten anybody. Uh, well, I'm not that suggesting that you did it personally, no. but uh, as a result of taking up this case, she says that she was taken out and threatened and played obscene yeah. tapes. Well, what is the... Well, who did it? I mean, who, who was supposed she, to have done Who was supposed to have done this to her? Well, she, she, just... she believes it was done on your behalf. Oh, that's stupid. It's absolutely untrue. Just ridiculous. It's that kind of stuff. It's that kind of stuff that, that is causing all the misery and it's a witch hunt in the classical sense just as the witch hunts that took place here in england and in salem massachusetts in the united states aquino is now back in america to face the military music leaving his satanic church established in britain dale griffiths is a former police chief who for 17 years has investigated satanic crime he has no doubt of the threat it poses i would say to my counterparts in england Ladies and gentlemen, don't assume the ostrich effect. Don't take your own Judeo-Christian backgrounds and use it. It's not what you believe. That's not important. Remember what they believe. And they are dangerous. Protect her, Lord, from all the darkness and the evil of Satan and those who follow him.
If you have been involved in Satanism and need counseling or advice, a confidential helpline manned by specialist counselors is open until midnight. The number is 021-631-3080. That's 021-631-3080.